All right, what is going on folks? Welcome back to another video. I'm sure it's pretty obvious that I have basically been ghost on YouTube right now and on this channel. To keep it short and simple, uh, the weather here in North Carolina has been absolutely garbage as far as fishing goes. I think I've filmed about eight videos ever since January 1st, so ever since the new year. Uh, I filmed like eight videos, catfish, bass, literally every species imaginable. I think I ended up going fishing in my kitchen at one point. Not a single bite, not a single fish in sight. Um, so it's just been brutal. But uh, yeah, today I'm going to be doing some uh, shopping, bringing you guys along. I'm going to film like a little bit of a vlog segment here uh, because I'm desperate for content. Um, but not even really. I'm just, I'm going to bring you guys along today. We're going to get some Bass Pro Shops gear, um, see what we can do. Maybe get, we're going to get like 25% winter gear. And then the rest we're probably going to get like spring and summer gear or really just for the rest of the year. We're going to get gear for the warmer months because it's almost February now. So uh, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's head to Bass Pro Shops. Um, have a day. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, when something cool happens. All right, we made it. Let's go get some stuff. I don't even know what I want. We actually did perfect. Right on our, right on our budget line. We spent exactly, I think, like $53, $54. I thought we were at about 60, 70, I'm not gonna lie. I could have gone a little bit more risky with it, but hey, I'll take it. Well, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I head in the Bass Pro Shops, I always get that fishing itch. Um, as soon as I walk in there, it's just fishing. It's basically just fishing outdoors all around you. I love that store. Um, yeah, I'm surprised I was not over budget at all. I said I was gonna go in with like $50. Um, well, I said I was going to go in and, and spend only about $50. I think I spent, what was it, like $54 at the end, which was literally perfect. I thought I was at $70. i am not going to lie. I thought I was getting a little bit ridiculous. I could have gone a little bit more ridiculous, like I said, but uh, yeah, we're leaving now. I'm going to catch up with you guys in a, uh, well, in an area where I feel like filming and where I can film. So uh show you guys what we got and we're going to enjoy the rest of the day. So uh, yeah, I might get some food now. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying as much as I am. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you for sticking along on this little vlog. All right, welcome to my filming location here. Let's get this guy off me. So we're back. Um, we're back in my room. I'm sure you guys are probably sick and tired of me filming videos in my room now. But uh, hey, like I said, fishing has been tough. So I got to resort to anything that's necessary. So let's go through what we got, shall we? Um, enjoy the time. We didn't, really didn't get much, so I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of a haul here. And then uh, we're gonna do something else, something special else at the end of this video. So stay tuned, because we got something else pretty uh, pretty stupid coming up. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of Ned Rigs. Um, Luke kind of put me on. Uh, he was fishing with Ned Rigs, I, I think, in his latest video, um, where he was fishing, you know, he was kayak fishing and he was fishing with Ned Rigs. So I got some, some Ned Rigs here. I got uh, those worms, as well as these mushroom Ned Lock things these guys are ridiculously expensive i didn't want to get the black color because it just completely throws it off in my opinion i usually like to get silver colors or uh like brown colors which they had but the the hooks look like garbage quality so this was ridiculously expensive for what it is but uh yeah i believe this is how you fish ned rigs um i know these guys are probably a little bit too uh big so i'm gonna have to trim off like an inch or so so uh yeah we're gonna be doing a lot of ned rig fishing if it's any good if it's from what I've heard, it's some of the best uh, rigs you can throw in the winter. I'll be honest, I've never tried it. Well, I've tried it one time. It was horrible. I literally got snagged up and on muck and whatever every single cast. So I'm going to give it another shot, uh, fish it in actual good waters, and uh, we'll see what it can do. Hopefully, it can catch some fish. So, yeah, we got some Ned Rigs set up here. Are we recording? Or are we? Uh, yep. Mike is still recording. Awesome. Okay, next up, we have got, I had to pick up some jigs. If you guys know me, jigs are my favorite baits to throw uh, for bass. Uh, more specifically, swim jigs. Um, yeah, I, I love, I literally love jigs. Um, I got two football jigs, green pumpkin, uh, black and blue. Uh, Strike King, the cheap ones, three, four ounce. Literally as cheap as it gets, but they do work. Um, if I'm ever fishing cold water, if I'm probably lake fishing or bigger pond fishing uh, this winter or this uh, upcoming spring and whatever, uh, cold water months. This guy, these two should slay. Um, and I've got plenty more jigs. This, this is, you know, just adding to the collection and stuff. I didn't pick up any swim jigs. I'll be honest when I say I think this is the first time I've ever went to a, a fishing store or at least went to a store to 
get fishing stuff and not picked up any swim jigs. I think this is the first time that's happened. So, yeah, not much to say about these guys. We got some trailers for them. I think we got uh, bandito bugs. These guys right here are the only Guggen baits you will ever see me buy in my entire life. Um, I think the other ones are pretty much pointless. This is the only unique one. Literally, the Guggen baits bandito bug, in my opinion, is the only unique uh, Guggen bait. Everything else is just a spin off of another bait. This guy, in my opinion, is actually unique. Has uh, I mean, it's, it's just unique. I'm sure if most of you guys have fished with these guys before. I love bandito bugs. Everything else can, can stay with Guggen. Moving right along, I decided to get some drop shot hooks for wacky rigs because uh, there was literally no circle hooks. Okay, this guy right here. These cost me $10. Um, I looked online to see what kind of blade baits they had. Um, all the good ones and all, at least the cheap ones, <laughs> the good ones are the cheap ones for me. Um, all the cheap ones were literally sold out everywhere, which means I guess it could be a good bait. The reason why I got this because I saw a video of one rod literally catching like, I don't know, but he was catching a lot of fish um, at like a lake or a river or something like that on, on blade baits in cold weather. Um, so yeah, I decided to pick one up literally just because of that video. Um, these, these guys cost me $10. This is my most expensive thing on the list. Um, and it's literally two of like the worst blade baits out. I, I don't know. I can't say anything. Um, what I do know is that I'll definitely be fishing these guys. Um, it is a good shad imitation. I know that minnow imitation, whatever it really could be. It's a small presentation as you can see. Uh, very small presentation, so it should work. Um, fish brain notification. So, uh, yeah, uh, blade baits. Not sure how to fish them at all. Um, like I said, I literally saw Mike using this in one of his videos, and he was like yo-yoing it, I believe, and he was catching fish. So uh, I get a lot of my ideas off of other YouTubers and other uh, fishermen out there. So blade bait, who knows? Could be the saver of this winter. I'm not sure. I think the Ned Rig might be uh, the saver or a wacky rig. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we picked these guys up for what reason? I don't know. And that's all. Uh, like I said, I, this all cost me $50. Actually, I, I, got, the, I got some braid. Um, guys, check this braid out. It's pretty sick. Um, no, of course you guys don't care about the braid. So, um, so yeah, that's all. Um, the braid cost me literally so... I, I don't know why braid is so expensive. It costs like $20, $30 for 150 uh, yards of braid. I got 150 yards of braid, 15 pound. I like to throw light braid. Um, I know most people throw like 50 pound braid, uh, 30 pound braid, 40 pound braid. I think Honestly, I think that's ridiculous unless you're f fishing lakes. Um, and that's actually, I guess that's okay. But for pond fishermen like myself, bank anglers, I think fishing anything other than like 15 pound uh, braid is kind of ridiculous. So, because I've never snapped off a fish with 15 pound braid, so works just fine for me. Dark green, uh, I always fish stained water. You don't really fish clear water too much. And uh, yeah, we're probably gonna do some rigging up. But like I said, I had a little secret thing that we're gonna be doing here. Let's go do that uh, little secret thing. I gotta film an outro super quick here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the channel by any way, um, go and hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. Um, I make bass fishing videos, fishing, really any other fish uh, species out there. Uh, I target pretty much all fish, but uh, I make mostly bass fishing videos on YouTube here. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, go and hit that subscribe button. And for all my folks out there who do watch my videos on a regular basis, obviously fishing videos are still coming back. Obviously I'm still fishing. Uh, I'm still doing my fishing videos. Like I said, it's just been tough. It has been very tough. Decided to go to Bass Pro Shops today and just get some stuff done. Film a little vlog for you guys here today. Um, just try and make content out. Some people are absolute wizards at making content in certain times when they just, when it all else seems to fail. And uh, I'm clearly not one of them, so I just decided to do this today, a little vlog here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys stuck around. Um, I know I had a good day, a good time. Unfortunately, the sun is just setting now, so we're not gonna be able to go fishing, but that's what tomorrow is for. So uh, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be going fishing. Hopefully, catch some fish. Hopefully, I actually get a good fishing video out for you guys. So, well, yeah, fishing videos are still here. Uh, we're still attempting to catch our first fish of 2021. Uh, I know it's it's been a while now. It's almost February, but we're working on it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And as always, folks, capture moments, create memories. I'll see you in the next video.